Hey, what's up everyone? My name's Chris Winter and today I'm gonna to take an in-depth look at the brand new Canon T6S or 760D if you're outside of America. Now, if you saw the review I did on the Canon T6i, you'll notice some similarities to this camera. But the cool thing about this one is that it's got some very exciting new features that the T6i doesn't have. And guys, to celebrate reaching 5,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm actually gonna be giving away either a Canon T6i or a T6S to a lucky subscriber. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure to do it to enter into the competition. Anyway, let's take a look at this brand new camera. Now let's take a look at the build quality of this T6S. Now the first thing that you'll notice about this new body is that it's got some really nice new additions, specifically a new control dial on the back and a new LCD on the top of the camera. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. The T6S is still quite a lightweight camera, especially if you compare it to the likes of the 5D or the 7D, but it's definitely got a little bit more weight compared to the likes of the T6i. And to me, that's a really good thing, especially if you throw on a bigger lens, because it means that it's gonna be a little bit less front heavy. Now on the back of the camera, we've still got that beautiful swiveling touchscreen, and now that we've got that new hybrid autofocusing system, this camera has just become so much more powerful. So let's now take a quick look at the menus on this camera. Now, if you've used a Rebel Series camera before, this is all gonna look very familiar to you. Now, the menus are set out very, very cleanly and intuitively, and you know, although they're quite basic, I actually prefer these over the more complex menus found in the Pro line of cameras. Hey guys, if you haven't seen it yet, make sure to check out my top 10 list of the best lenses to get for the Canon T6S. I go into quite a lot of detail with it, uh, and I explain exactly which lens would be good for you and why. So, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Plenty of people have been checking it out and uh, giving me some good feedback on it. So go check it out and tell me which lens you'd like out of those top 10, uh, top 10 lenses. Anyway, let's get on to the next part of this video. One of my favorite features of the Canon T5i was actually its touch screen. And of course, it's one of my favorite things in the new T6S as well. Now, the display itself comes in at around one million dots and it's easy to see even on a bright day like today. So I've been pretty impressed with that. But what I love most about this camera is just how well the touchscreen works, especially in video mode. Now, one of my favorite features of the Canon 70D, which is the main camera that I use to shoot all of my videos, uh, is the ability to use the touchscreen to accurately pull focus. So essentially what you're doing is whatever you touch on the screen is gonna slowly but surely come into focus. And it's pretty similar on the Canon T6S. And the best part about this is that you actually don't have to press too hard down on the screen to actually select your point. All you need is a light tap, which means that you're not gonna be getting any shake or wobble when you're trying to pull focus in video mode. One of my favorite new additions of this Canon T6S and something that I never really thought that I would see in an entry level camera is this LCD screen on the top of the body. Now this normally comes with professional cameras and it essentially lets you get you know, quick access to all your settings, ISO, aperture, shutter speed and so on. And it can be really, really handy. More than anything though, I think it says to me that Canon is starting to try and blur the lines between their beginner to semi-pro cameras, which is always really good to see. And you know, although it's not really gonna change the quality of your images, it does help speed up your workflow quite a bit. So it is a really nice feature to have. Hey guys, as you know, I've got my hands on both a T6i and a T6S, so if you'd like to see like a comparison video between these, like a head-to-head -head shootout, uh, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video, and if enough people do it, I'll get to work on it and we'll see which one's better for you. Anyway, let's get on to the next part of this video. So let's now talk about autofocus speed. Now, just like in the Canon T6i, the T6S has been upped from nine autofocus points to 19 cross-type autofocus points. And what does this really mean? Well, it means the autofocus is gonna be a lot quicker and a lot more accurate. And when you pair it up with a fast autofocusing lens like these new STM lenses, this one here is the 18 to 135, you can get some really, really impressive performance. So what I'll do is autofocus on these vintage cameras here. We'll listen out for that confirmation beep just to see how quick it is. So there's almost no delay at all. That is very, very quick. You know, a couple of years back, you would have never expected that on a uh, beginner level camera. That is a very, very fast autofocusing camera. Good job, Canon. Another feature that's trickled down from the pro line of cameras is this new rear dial on the back of the camera right here. Now this is the first time it's been seen in a Rebel camera and it allows for pretty speedy changes of these settings on the fly. Now to be totally honest guys, I've never really been a big fan of these kind of control dials because I've always found them a little bit clunky and a little bit slow to move uh, back and forth. But you know, I'm sure that there are some people out there who like them and uh, I guess it's nice to have that feature. So let's now talk about the video capabilities of this Canon T6S. And this is where it all gets very exciting with HDR video, smooth autofocus in video, and of course, digital zoom, which has been one of my favorite features ever since the T3i. 
One of the big announcements of this camera was that new hybrid autofocusing system and it's something that I've been really interested in testing out, especially compared to the 70D. And I've got to say I've been very, very impressed. Now, although it's not as fast to change focus as the 70D, it is hugely improved over the T5i and I'm really talking a big difference, allowing you to use autofocus in video without having to worry about it hunting or pretty much just freaking out on you. Face tracking works pretty well too and uh, yeah, I've been very impressed with it. Now, if you would like me to do a full video comparing the Canon 70D's autofocus versus the Canon T6S, let me know in the comment section below. And one of the other features that doesn't come on the T6i but does come on the T6S is something new and pretty exciting, HDR video. Now this is all pretty new and I haven't really had a full chance to test it out properly just yet, but from what I've tried, it does seem like it could be quite useful, almost replicating having an increased dynamic range. Now I'll make a video with more samples and testing it out properly in the future, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see that. Now in terms of speed, this camera still shoots at around 5 frames per second, which sounds a little bit like this which isn't the fastest camera in the world, but with that new 19 autofocus points, uh, I have found that autofocusing on fast moving subjects really is working quite well. And there's not many times where I haven't got that shot that I really wanted to get. So it's all well and good to talk about the camera's features, but let's take a look at a few sample images. Now the T6S is packing a much improved 24.2 megapixel sensor. And look, it resulted in cleaner images in pretty much most lighting conditions. The kit lenses that come with these cameras like the 18 to 55 and the 18 to 135 STM can get you some pretty nice shots. Uh, they've got good color reproduction and they're relatively sharp. And if you throw on a lens with a really wide aperture, you can still get some really nice bokeh. Just like to say a big thanks to the guys over at Shutterhub for letting me rent out the Canon T6i. You guys have been fantastic. And if you guys want to see any more videos, make sure to click the screen and they'll take you to the corresponding video. Have a fantastic day guys. See you later.